when I wanted to reach my goal as becoming like a solo trombone player, it was such a physical uh, thing to do. I was a heavy smoker actually. <laughs> It was quite terrible. I, I smoked a lot. Even during my my career, I, I come back to smoking because I'm heavily addicted to it. But I noticed that to reach my goals, the only way to take was to really take care of the body and really make sure gradually to find ways to strengthen it. <laughs> quite ruthless to my body. I've been partying a lot sometimes and I've been uh, eating junk food and I've grown in weight and lost weight and things like this but I always come back to this in my head that I need to take care of my body. So good. This is chickpeas. Now I'm in business. This is really makes it very easy to be a vegetarian. So I've had in my in the back of my mind I always had this thing that that I should really stop to eat bad things and I think meat is bad for the body and to stop smoke and also to take care of it. The machine, the, the body is such a fantastic instrument and I really noticed that when it's in shape I, I, I can create the best results. <laughs> Overall, I think on a daily basis, the routine has to be don't toxic yourself with stupid things. I've really done lots of destructive things. I, I was six years old when I started to smoke cigarettes. And I was addicted when I was nine. I still, I mean, if I take one zip of a cigarette, I, I start smoking. My brain is, is destroyed in that way. But I know it, so, so I've, I've taken it out of my system. So that I've, I've done very destructive things <laughs> through my life. To stop smoking is one of the most difficult things a human being can do. The three first weeks are terribly difficult. Once you get over the three first weeks, you're sort of in a good shape. Then you get rid of the most of the addiction. Then it's like one, you say, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm okay now, I can have one sip. And then that sip makes you, your brain go back to it again. After one month, it's very dangerous. After three months, it's even more dangerous. And sometimes at nine months, I've started again. Now I've been out from it for uh, almost three years. I think there was a book by Alan Carr. I read it three times. I started again <laughs> after reading it, but after having read it three times, it finally got into my system and I understand what it is. So now it's no problem. I enjoy being a non-smoker so much. When you see an animal kill another animal, we believe it's nature. And of course I believe it is nature. And we as human beings have also killed animals because we believe we need it for our our body. Now the thing is, in our century we have come so far so that we know that human beings can live very very well as vegetarians. We don't need meat. We don't need chicken. We don't need fish. Actually it's clearly proven that we are healthier by eating ve vegetarian. When you eat beans and, and uh, plants and things like this you don't feel this immediate heaviness in your body, you feel enriched. There are some, some people that say that B12, for instance, you can't get from other things than, than meat, but then you have the British Marmite, so that you can eat that and get it. We might be the species that are the most developed, but nevertheless, I believe it's quite clear that every living creature has the same right to live on this earth. And I really, I truly believe that we are connected. The fact that I am me doesn't mean that I'm not connected to someone else. If I let my ego go, I realize that I have great feelings when someone else, another living creature is happy. And that is quite clear. So I, I really don't believe we, we are superior. 
to any other creature on Earth. We don't have more rights to the Earth than anyone else. If you think about it, 400 years ago or 300 years ago, there were people eating each other, and that was natural for them. Today we think that's disgusting. And I believe, truly, that, I hope so at least, that in 100 years we will feel exactly the same with animals. To actually kill an animal, I mean, most of us have problem doing it. But nevertheless, we can eat it because we are not involved in the, in the actual killing process. But I think that's uh, not very moral. That's immoral, basically. Being cruel to another living creature is actually being cruel to yourself. I think you have to be very, very modest when you think about life. We are connected somehow. Our consciousness are together in one earth. My number one reason to go vegetarian is not to create unnecessary suffering on living creatures. And by doing that, I personally feel much better. I must say, it strengthened myself. I became a much more vivid person. And this is proof enough that it's good for me. I don't want to be a preacher. I don't want to be sort of telling other people what to do. I think the only thing you can do is to be an example yourself and try to be enthusiastic about it. There's really no argument against. Only arguments for. It doesn't take much to change. And the more we do it, it's a movement also. It's like more and more people understand. Look at what happened with smoking cigarettes. Everyone, I was a heavy smoker. It's like something is lost in the brain of our culture and the tobacco industry was just pushing disinformation all the time and we have the same with the meat industry it's unbelievable how they are frightened to death that they will lose the power think about all the farmers of course in the long run they they have to change the way they they think but we did with smoking so basically we have a smoking free society compared to what it was before it's such a difference, and it's just by informing people, and I, I hope I'll be an example, a good example. You cannot force other people to do things, because that's the same as punishing them. I have a pacifist view, so that the only thing I want to do is be an example. So therefore, I don't want to be part of killing animals. But I don't want to be like a revolutionary and force other people to do things because then I'm, I'm also in a situation where I punish other people. Once you fully understand that a habit is bad for you, then you naturally break it. I didn't fully understand the terrible thing about killing animals and eating meat. I'm sort of not fully aware, but I'm much more aware of the terrible thing. And being that much aware make me just lose the interest in eating meat.